it is time to make bread. It's Saturday afternoon. It's kind of late. Time day kind of got away from me, but I was just watching TV relaxing. And this is part of what I do to relax. So this time around, I'm going to do two loaves because I want to do two different bannetons that I have. I want to use those. So the thing to do here would be to... Um, not the thing to do. The thing I'm going to do is a thousand grams, uh, six hundred ish grams of uh, wheat, and then the balance to a thousand will be uh, white. I don't think um, there should be a problem with how much with volume. I think I'll be all right. This I'm using this big metal bowl. I think I'll be okay. So got. Got some water warming up because I, I like to have the water uh, be. Uh, that's what I had the thing out for. I want to make sure the water is um, warm ish. It's kind of cool in the room, so I wanted to be a little bit warm. I found having adding a little bit of heat through the water is the best way. I think if I favor wheat flour, I get a better um, rise. I don't know. It, it's Maybe it's in my head. I'm st I'm not an expert by any means. I just do this for fun. And I've been figuring it out as I go along. So this is loaf 30 something, 36, 37. So. It's a bit intimidating doing this much at once, but it's just a matter of sticking with it because it's going to be wet for the first two or three minutes maybe, and it just won't feel like you're getting anywhere and everything's just going to stay wet and you're going to have to add more flour, but you got to fight that urge. I found fighting that urge and just working your way through the through this process for a good five minutes at least makes it so um, you can't uh, makes it uh, makes it so you work through this this part where the, the dough's really uh, scratchy is what I'm trying to say together really nice it already hold it already looks pretty good though maybe the scale because of the scale it's I don't know I don't know first time I'm doing this much so uh, I'm really interested to see how it comes out this uh, should be a little should be fun This sucker's big. It's nice and heavy. Get my hand all wet. Here's uh wait a second. Where's my phone? Hold on. Salt because this is a bigger. So I like to have 2% salt. So that means I need 20 grams of, of salt. Okay, 17, 18, 19, uh, it's about 10 minutes. I don't know why I said 19. It's about 10 minutes, so I think we're good. It was getting a little bit of a skin, so I beat that out of it. 
<laughs> so everything's coming together really nice. It, it's feeling together again. It's not. It's a little bit sticky, but it's nice and damp, nice and wet. It's 79% hydration, so 79% of, of its volume. Or I forget how that's. Anyway, this has. Uh, the starter and the flour mixed in. Starter, flour, salt, all mixed together. Everything seems good. Gonna let it sit for an hour and then we'll start on our folds. The hard part, the messy part, the physical part, for the most part is unfolds. You gotta do a little bit of thing, but this is like where all the real work is. So that's done, uh, be back in an hour. It is time for the first fold. Let's see what we got. All right, still here. That's that's a good start. A little bit jiggly. Feels good. I mean, it's just large. There's a lot of material, so there's still a lot of, of stretch to be had. So, kind of now, I think it's tightened up enough. But yeah, I did that all off of camera. I, man, I like it. This is my first video. That's why. Look how jiggly it is. But yeah, it looks good. Feels good. Smells good. So uh, it'll just spread out again, which is great. So, there's a lot of air in it that starter uh, starter was on the way down a little bit but I think it it got rejuvenated with all this flour so let it sit for another hour and we'll get on to the second fold everything looks good so far hour two it's moving along really well it's still nice and jiggly folds it's still spread out really nicely relaxed Nice and jiggly. Second fold done. Give it another hour and then we'll do our third and final fold. Everything seems still seems good. I always have to reassure myself. I always repeat that, but it's just me reassuring myself. It smells good. Got a lot 
of jiggle to it. It's nice. Okay. Looks good. Nice and jiggly. Very good slap. And give it another hour. And we'll start. Uh, we'll shape it. Put it on our ben Bennington's. And that'll be it for the evening. Actually, no, I take that back. Put it in the Bennington's. Put it in the oven with the light on. Should only be about an hour, maybe 70 minutes. And then we'll have, um, it'll be proofed then the fridge. Too much flour, but that's fine. Uh, both of the um, Bannington's are covered with uh, flour. Take this out. Almost looks like I know what I'm doing, huh? That's funny.
sticky. It's not good. Okay, well, the first one went together pretty well. The second one um, told me not so fast. So, I'm gonna cover this one up, we're done. I'm gonna take it, cover it, put it in the oven, and hopefully it'll proof. Uh, this one I have a little more confidence in. I don't know about this one, but we'll see. Okay, it is next morning. The bread sat in the fridge all night. Looks okay, I don't know. So, seems alright. Let's put a little bit of flour on this thing. It's got a little bit of water from condensation, so you don't want to don't want it to get stuck. So Gonna take this, flip it over, flip this. It falls pretty well. Let's see if it comes up okay. Doesn't look like it got stuck. Nope, I think it's okay. Look at that. Okay. It 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 looks looks presentable. I'm gonna put it at an angle. It should be okay like that. I don't know, maybe maybe it's the right size. When I bought one of these, when I bought one of these, it came with a lamp alum, so I just loaded up with a razor. Uh, let's do. Let's do that. Okay, so this is ready. I have my uh, Dutch oven in the in the oven preheating for about 40 minutes now. So I'm going to take it out and put it up.
covered. Let's get it in here. Good. All right. Gonna set a timer for 20 minutes. And we'll see how we turn out. Okay, got about 30 seconds. The odor is, odor is right at least. I don't know if it's gonna be rise or anything like that. I don't know. I think, um, now we'll just see. bigger. It's a good start. It's bigger. Let's see if I can... Okay, got about 30 seconds. The odor is, odor is right at least. I don't know if it's going to be rise or anything like that. I don't know. I think... Um, now we'll just see. bigger. It's a good start. <coughs> All right, looks like a bread. Looks like it's supposed to. It rose a considerable amount. That's surprising. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take it and put it over there. It uh, rose a decent amount, the, both the slits rose, so it has a control uh, openings here. Everything looks good. has a nice aroma to it. Although that's just flour on it from the banneton, that's not a problem. That can be rubbed off if need be. But looks good. It's 10.30 in the morning. Give it like three or four hours to completely cool off, but actually it looks somewhat presentable. I was afraid it wasn't going to do anything. I was afraid it was just going to flop. But I think we're okay. All right, it's later in the afternoon. Still seems to be cooked. That's good. Let's scrape some of this flour off. There's a lot of flour. I don't think it'll negatively affect the flavor, but maybe it could. I don't know. But either way, aesthetically, it's just a lot. Not very pleasing. Well, crumb looks good, I guess. Pretty nice flavor. I like a little more rise. It seems a little I don't know what I did. I think it's maybe overproofed. I left it for too long to proof, I think. I think I had, and the, the starter I used was a little bit over peak. So, 
It's okay though. The flavor is really nice, but I just wish it were a little bit bigger. I mean, I think that's just my fault anyway. So, I have one more to do. I'll probably do it in the morning just to see what it looks like because that other one I don't think it's like this one's okay but I don't think that other one's not even any good but I thought to do it anyway okay it is Monday morning I made this uh, loaf I made the, the dough for it Saturday evening so it's been in the fridge for uh, however long that is like a 30 something hours so I'm not very confident in it. I feel that it was kind of squishy and I'm afraid it's already overdone. So I don't think it's going to rise or anything. I'm afraid that I'm taking it out and it's just going to blah. If it goes blah, then the experiment's over and I'm not going to bake it. It's just a waste of energy. <clears throat> Having said that, I did warm up the, uh, the oven already. So the oven's ready to go. Uh, let me take it out and see what we got. Here it is. Looks real wet. Don't know what to think about that. This is the first time I've ever done the bread this long after. Usually I, I bake it the same day even. So I really don't need flour on it because there's flour here. So let's just flip it and see what happens. Okay, it held together. I'll give it that. At least it's something. So this is together. Let me cut it. Let's see how that goes. I'm just gonna do something crazy because this is like this is the most experiment one out of the two. So the other one I've already made toast and had some breakfast with it. This one I'm just going to do because I want to try it. Now let's uh, get it into the Dutch oven. Okay, we're in. Set a timer for 20 minutes and we'll see what we get at the end. I'm, I don't know. It doesn't seem as bad as I thought. I think putting it in the fridge does kind of slow it down so it doesn't get too gooey. It's hold together the way it's supposed to. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be good, but it may not be terrible, let's just put it that way. So, 20 minutes. It did something, I don't know if it's that great. It did kind of go out more than I'd like, but it did rise some, so. Um, I'm gonna keep it at 500, a lot of they say you're supposed to lower it, but I just keep it at 500 and do it for 12 minutes, and I think that's the right amount of time. So, we'll take it out in 12 minutes and see what we got. <laughs> That seems a little bit better. Let's move it over to the uh, to the rack. It rose a decent amount. It's split right there where I didn't cut it, but these slits came out looking pretty actually. That is weird. It's a pretty loaf. I think it, everything looks okay. This didn't cook right, but this ear was starting to get a little toasty. I think it's right. It was in 500 degree heat for about 40 minutes, so I doubt it's not cooked or baked. So. This one came out way better than I thought it was going to. I thought it was just going to be a flop, but I think it might be okay. So it's nine in the morning. Give it like three, four hours to cool, and we'll come back and see what we got. So it's been a few hours. Let's cut this. Let's cut it open. See what we got. Crumb 
looks good. Odor's nice. Has a nice texture to it, feels good. Tastes pretty good. Oh, it's better than I thought it was, uh, it was gonna be. It is a bit dense, but it's got a good flavor to it. I don't know. I think it should be okay. I already made another one too, so the slits and everything came out looking good. It almost looks like I made it that way, but um, making two at a time, I don't know. It was a bit more, um, it's just another technique I think I have to learn. So two, two uh, loaves of bread done, but I really think this loaf, this, this, this type of loaf, I think this is where I'll be going next. I'll be making these. But I want to make a, just one and make it a little bit bigger than this one. That'll be the next loaf. Okay. 